When you click on a DeFi project and it tells you it needs $200 of Ethereum to pay for the transaction, the dream of fast cheap transactions from crypto are shown to be a lie, at least for now. The first rumblings of the troubles ahead for Ethereum, at least for those below the echelons of genius level technocrats, was the disruption caused by crypto kitties. When the crypto kits were born and bred Ethereum ground to a halt. A game with cute furries should not break a global payment infrastructure, certainly not one claiming to append finance and defeat the gatekeeper bankers that make transactions so slow and expensive. Crypto kitties are no longer an infrastructure breaking problem but the cost of transacting on Ethereum lies in ruins because even a simple transfer that your bank would give you for free costs between $3 and $10 on a normal day. Try transacting crypto on a DeFi platform and you can be looking at $100, $200 and more to pay for the event. When NFTs are released costs can go even higher as buyers fight to hoover up the latest emotive animal meme. Enter the competitor chains. Solana, Binance Chain, Polygon, Avalanche, etc., are part of a competitive cohort taking Ethereum to task for its cost and sluggishness and offering an alternative. I use Medical Lot and paying $0. O1 rather than $100 a use is compelling. It is not alone in offering an alternative venue to escape crippling cost and the denizens of Ethereum will say that these chains represent a useful abstract of Ethereum, a level 1 junior structure for low value transactions running parallel with the mother blockchain of Ethereum. That's a nice thought, but in functionality there is nothing these chains need from Ethereum except audience to circumvent, subsume or replace it. The only thing holding Ethereum in primacy is its brand, its value as a token and the promise of cheaper transactions in the future. These are formidable hurdles and the blockchain pretenders are finding it hard to overcome them. However, they won't hold forever. Ethereum is going from proof of work driven by miners, to proof of stake driven by validators. This promises a huge drop in fees. Promises. A previous change promised lower fees but instead fees went up not down. However, proof of stake should dramatically slash transaction costs. On the face of it this should decapitate the pretender change because they don't have Ethereum's colossal brand value and they don't offer much in the way of novel benefits. It is quite logical to say, there is no second place in this space, and blockchains with specific functionality should develop into natural monopolies. As such, the perishing should be doomed. This would be bad news for token holders hodling billions in token and Ethereum competitors. So what will happen?